Hello, Dave from Fort Four Golf. Hopefully, you're joining me after part one of my match here. My match, it's not really a match. Anyway, stop babbling. So anyway, I'm on the fourth tee box. I am one behind or one worse than my handicap at the moment, sitting on five points. And um, yeah, I've got a par five here. It's 440-ish, 450-ish meters. And um, yeah, the wind's blowing. So let's try and hit this fairway for the fourth time this year. Okay, so this par five, 4.30 it's actually playing today. Wind hard off the right, taking everything over there. Um, so I'm pretty much gonna try and aim down the right hand side and, and try and bring it back. Um, yeah, this, this has been a bit of a mental block for me, this hole recently. So yeah, I'm a, uh, I need to, to kind of drum up some confidence more than anything else. So just got to uh, get a good swing on it. As I say, I'm going to go down that right hand side, kind of out over that white post. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can put one on the fairway. Come on, wind, hit it. Hit it, wind. Hit it. Oh, just on the tree line. I think I'll get away with it, but. Okay, so, yeah, I got lucky. It kind of come over the trees here. I like came over those, landed in this. So, uh, did well. Um, all right, but I've got no shot because the flag is over there. So I've just got seven iron. I'm just gonna tap it out on that line. I can see the yellow 150 marker kind of out there. I kind of, I want to try and get a bit closer to that. Yeah, so a little bit of a fade on it, but we just wanted to just advance it up the fairway as much as we can, really. And uh, that will do. Might get me to about the 120 mark, something like that in. Okay, uh, 127 to the flag. Um, it's uphill though, and that wind's hurting a little bit. Ah, no, nah, it's kind of just straight across. Um, I'm about to get very wet again in a minute as well. Um, I'm hitting, uh, yeah, an eight iron. Just checking it is my eight iron. Picked out my pitching wedge earlier. Okay. Pins towards the front, so if it is a little bit long, that's fine. It's an amazing strike. And it is on the green. Pin high to out to the right. Okay, it's a good birdie chance to be honest. Take that flag out. You can get a good look of uh, exactly how wet I'm gonna get in a minute. It's pretty much straight down the hill from here. Maybe a touch right to left. Yeah touch right to left. Not going to line it up from this distance, it's too far. It's certainly downhill as well. Oh, you got to hit it though, mate. Oh, see that, what they stopped on. Mind you, I didn't even get close to hitting it. All right, either way, it's a good five from the trees. All right then, so we've no shot on that previous hole. That five is two pointer. Uh, I've got a par four now that I do get a shot on. It's only 340 meters, so about 370 yards. So it actually feels like the wind's switched around. It's slightly behind me, maybe a little off the 
off of my back here. I'm gonna hit four iron and try and keep her down the left hand side because uh, everything will run away down to the right anyway. Just cut across it and I have clipped the tree and dropped down to the right of it. Yeah, that was that was just getting across over the top rather than staying in it like that. Alright, live and learn. Is good news is I found my ball. Bad news is that's in the way. And so I can either go this side. You can see if I zoom in, that's where the flag is over on the left hand side of the green or I can go out to the right hand side which it looks like there's a heck of a lot more room so as the golf sidekick would say there are no hero shots in amateur golf only stupid shots so we're going to go this way just going to use a five iron because I want to try and keep it below that tree limb just in front of me there and um, yeah it, like if it gets over to that tree in the distance on the other side of the fairway, it's not the end of the world. So I just realized I kept sh keep showing you my backside, which is uh, only partially worse than my front side, but still not great. All right. So, oh, that's turning nicely, let's see. Yep, that's gonna come up just short. Well, about 10 meters short of the bunker. It's a tough shot from there, but I didn't really have much else. While I hide out from the rain again, that's where my ball's finished up. And that's what I've got to go over. But uh, we are going to, I'm gonna wait for this rain to uh, blow over, which hopefully it will, mainly because I'm quite far from the clubhouse at the moment. Um, I've got to be sensible here just not in the bunker. A good miss is long towards you. So yeah, I need to get it in the air, but I don't need the super flop. Looks good, gonna have to spin though. Could hit you. Yeah, nearly did. Just rolled past you and he's stayed on the back of the green. It wasn't in the bunker. That was priority number one two putts for two points. Okay, uh, I'm not on the green, so I'm not gonna pick it up and mark it or anything. Again, I think it's pretty straight. Would be nice if you could hit this one all the way to the hole though, David. It's definitely gonna get to the hole, or is it? Yeah, it got there, just. All right, I can't complain. Got a shot here, so tap that in. For a five, two points. Comment below if you're American and don't have the slightest idea what I'm talking about right now. Okay, so final hole of the part. Uh, hole six, par four, stroke index two. So it's no joke, like most of my videos. Uh, I get a shot here and at the moment I'm one behind. So I've made it, attempted to make a joke about Americans not understanding Stableford. So basically net par gives you two points, net bogey one point, net birdie three points and so on. So at the moment, well two points a hole is, is what you're aiming for. Um, will we'll be par basically. Um, I'm one behind that at the moment. So this is an opportunity if I can make par, that would be three points and it would get me back to level. So I should probably worry about putting it in a fairway before anything else. So three wood, uh, this is a dog leg round to the left as well. Have got wind kind of off of the left. We saw that on the last tee shot, it kind of sent it a little bit that way. So I am gonna aim a little bit more down the left hand side.
Oh, it's just gone a little bit on the wind. But uh, yeah, saw it down. That'll be okay. It's a longer second shot, but it's in play. My eyes are obviously not what they used to be off of the tee. Uh, I suppose, yeah, it is okay. That's what I've got, but that tree's not ideal. All right, so I'll just check whether I can swing properly. Not really. So I'm just gonna try and advance this as far as I can. Um, yeah, look, I'm 210 metres away, 230 yards, um, and I've basically got half a swing, quarter a swing maybe, so we're just going to try and bump it down there. Decent strike, and it should fly off the face of this Sim 2 uh, rescue. Or you could go right the way underneath it and uh, almost duff it. Mind you, it's still going. It's still going. And it's still going. And it stopped. All right, I'll have about 100 left. Uh, all right, so it was a little bit more than that. It's 115, dead into wind. Um, yeah, not gonna be easy. Pins uh, tucked right on the front, so I can go over it. Yeah, all right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hit a nine. When I find it, yep, I'm gonna hit a nine because I don't want it to stall a pitching wedge. So, right, I get a shot here. So, if I can get this on the green and two putt, that's still a net par. So, all I've got to think about right now as a uh, kangaroo bounds along the back of the green there. Right, enough chat, let's hit it. Got it heavy. Like me at the moment, it's a bit fat. Everywhere they are, absolutely everywhere. All right, 58 degree. Pretty much got to fly this all the way. Um, yeah. Again, doesn't need to be a mega flop or anything, but has got to fly all the way. Oh, it's pretty good. Spin, spin, spin. Oh, it's gone a little bit too far on. It's not far, it's only it's still in front of the camera, but I've got more than I would want to uh, make bogey. All right, well, let's walk up to it anyway. So uh, thank you for watching this part. Uh, there will be one more part where I play the final three holes of this nine. Uh, par three, but sorry, par four, par three three par five but uh for the moment it's going to turn you around there's the ball that's what i've left myself i am going to leave you with those uh kangaroos in the background as i take this on remember i need this to be two points and still on my handicap otherwise i would have dropped two behind Seeing it pretty straight, maybe right edge. Get in there. That's it for part two. See you in part three.